Hi guys and welcome to BTEC. This is a very quick comparison between two flagship devices, the HTC U12 Plus and the OnePlus 6. Now, in my opinion, these are two excellent phones, but for very different reasons. And as a result, they suit two very different kinds of users. But I'll get to that in a bit. But first I'd like to say a quick thank you to our sponsors, Direct Mobiles. If you're interested in any of these two phones, or you need a new phone in general, they're well worth checking out. You can find them at directmobiles.co.uk. So these are both very good looking handsets. The HTC is going for the very blingy look with this lovely mirror finish on the back, while the OnePlus is sleek and elegant. The one thing I should mention really is that the U12 Plus costs £699. Now compare that to the OnePlus 6, which starts at £469 for the cheapest model. But for the 8GB RAM and 256GB internal storage version, you're looking at £519, so still way cheaper than the U12 Plus. The U12 Plus has 64 gigs of internal storage, but is upgradable to 400 gigabytes through microSD support. The OnePlus has no microSD expansion port, so relies on that large internal storage. The HTC has a six inch Super LCD six screen with 1440 by 2280 resolution and an 18 by nine aspect ratio. This is versus the OnePlus with its larger 6.3 inch OLED screen with 1080 by 2280 resolution and in a 19 by nine aspect ratio. Both of these phones have a metal construction and are covered with Gorilla Glass on the front and the back. The HTC has Gorilla Glass 3, while the OnePlus has Gorilla Glass 5. Minimal bezels on the OnePlus compared to the HTC. If I'm honest, I don't mind the bezels on the HTC. I think if you have a large enough screen, then you can sort of get away with smallish bezels. OnePlus have gone for the iPhone look with a notch. It does have a slight chin on there, but it's fairly small compared to some of the others. The OnePlus has another iPhone-like feature in the form of the little mute switch on the left side here above the power button which has a nice solid clicky feel to it. Underneath there's USB Type-C on both, but no headphone jack on the HTC, but we do have one on the OnePlus 6. But to be fair, you do get some nice USonic noise cancelling headphones free with the HTC. There's bottom firing speakers here on both, just one speaker on the OnePlus, which isn't the best of quality. I mean, it's loud enough and it sounds okay, but the HTC does have a much better quality sound due to it having stereo speakers. Okay, I think it's fair to say the HTC's got that one, but the OnePlus more than makes up for it in other ways, like with the sheer power and speed of the thing. In both of these, we have Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 processors and six gigabytes of RAM, although there is an eight gigabyte variant on the OnePlus 6, but this one here is six gigabytes. So really, they're both fast phones, but this is where the difference is, and why I said earlier that they would appeal to very different users. The HTC is running Android 8.0 and has HTC's Sense UI overlaid, which, as it goes, is actually pretty heavy with HTC apps and content, it really tries hard to give you a unique Android experience. This might appeal to some people who like to heavily customize or just want to feel like their new phones is quite a bit different to what their last Android device was. Other people though will hate it. There's a lot going on here and it can be quite buggy at times, especially I find when the power save is on. Those people that don't like the U12 Plus would probably much prefer the OnePlus 6 and it's very clean and simple Oxygen UI. There's really not that much to it. Just a swipe to the right and you get to choose which cars you'd like to see. There's some support in there for gestures, but if you're the type that likes this simple clean UI, I don't really think you'd be bothering with all that. This simplicity means that the OnePlus 6 is properly fast, and the massive RAM options means that you'll always be fast, no matter what you're doing with it. The same can't be said for the HTC. It does confuse itself sometimes, there's just too much going on. I've given up completely on the edge sense functions because there's such a drain on the battery and the buttons are really annoying sometimes, mainly because they don't seem to work unless you're holding the handset in a correct way, the normal way if you like. Turn the phone upside down for example and try to work the buttons and they don't work at all. I guess you're applying the pressure in the wrong way somehow. But despite all this, I still like this handset and say that it's got character, it's different and it's a bit quirky and when it works, it does work well. Plus it has the best dual camera system on the market today according to DxOMark. The OnePlus's camera is pretty handy too. We can take a look at some shots side by side. On the HTC, we have a 12 megapixel camera with an f1.8 lens and optical image stabilization, plus a 16 megapixel secondary camera with an f2.6 lens and two times optical zoom. And on the front, there's a dual lens setup, twin eight megapixel shooters to give portrait style selfies. The OnePlus has a 16 megapixel rear camera with a 25 millimeter f1.7 lens and optical image stabilization. That's complemented with a 20 megapixel sensor that has the same 25 millimeter f1.7 lens whose only function is to provide portrait style shots. On the front of the OnePlus, there's a very decent 16 megapixel sensor with f2.0 lens and again with a 25 millimeter effective focal length. 
Both of these phones are capable of beautiful 4K video recording at 60 frames per second and 1080p at up to 240 frames per second. But the OnePlus does take it a little bit further and can do stunning 720p video at 480 frames per second. The HTC is currently rated at number 2 in the DxO Mark smartphone camera sensor ratings with a score of 103 and the OnePlus is currently 6 with a very respectable 96. You also get all the usual things you'd expect from high-end phones such as ultra-fast biometric scanners both for the fingerprint and for the facial recognition. Again here the OnePlus does seem to feel like it's a little bit faster than the HTC but then I'd go as fast to say that this is probably the fastest phone I've ever used so it's not surprising really. Anyway that's it from me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully it will help you make up your mind if you was planning on buying either of these two phones. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos like this and more good stuff coming from BTEC very soon. I'm David Wildman and this was BTEC.